What is up everybody, it is King Kunta, and today I am bringing to you another video. And no, it is not going to be one of the usual videos, it's actually going to be different. Uh, today I'm going to be covering four reasons why I think people should be more open to trying World of Warcraft Classic, or maybe just even uh, trying Classic to begin with in the first place. And uh, these are not, you know, this list isn't taken from any, like, technical data or any, any stuff like that. This is all just kind of my personal opinion. So I do understand that people may disagree or there may be people who agree. And I'd like to hear you guys' opinions in the, opinions in the comments below. So if you guys want to do that, that'd be great. Also, check out the link in the description below to find out where to find uh, Battle for Azeroth. Uh, so you can get all this nice... Uh, good stuff like that. I'll have a link to Battle for Azeroth in the description below so you can purchase it if you'd like to. And uh, I think that's really all I have to cover. So let's go ahead and we're just going to get into the video. So first things first when we talk about World of Warcraft Classic. There are some things you have to remember. Ah, remember. I realize my brain just like died for a second there and I know you all heard it for a second. <laughs> but so nostalgia is the key thing. But we have to keep in mind that not everybody started playing this game during classic. I myself actually didn't even start uh playing till actually I think I believe I started playing around Burning Crusade time and Burning Crusade sounds about right. Yeah. It's about right. I believe that's the first time I've actually like loaded up World of Warcraft on a computer, and I remember those times. I remember them so well. I remember first logging into World of Warcraft, and that first feeling you get when you're looking through the character creation screen, and you see everything is new, and you don't know what any of it is. I mean, now, you know, you guys go to look at World of Warcraft, and you know what the character selection screen is. You know what that looks like. You've seen it a hundred thousand times already. It's boring. But the first time you open up that game, it was something special. I remember clicking through all of the characters. And as you know, I'm a big Alliance guy, so Horde is normally off my list. But my first actual World of Warcraft char character was an undead Horde priest. And I can ask you now, like, I will ask any one of you, if you play World of Warcraft now, even, I want to say once a week, or something, it's something very minimal like, minimal like that, I guarantee you that person can tell you their first character be just because of how memorable it was when you first started playing and that kind of hook that it j just draw you know it drew you in it made you want to learn more about the world and stuff and I'm gonna be honest when I first started playing I had no idea what I was doing I was just selecting talents randomly all that stuff you know but that didn't matter to me because it was an exploration of the world and going back into World of Warcraft classic again is a great because it's literally like exploring a world that you've already been through again through the eyes of you know maybe someone who's more mature and knows what they're doing now or in the case that you stop playing because you hate the new mechanics you hate transmog you hate uh looking for group and all that stuff then you know this is also a way to go back to the basics if you, that's what you really enjoyed about the game now the next reason we have is that it is just challenging and not in a way that well it depends on, on who you ask really it is more challenging in the fact that mobs are way harder to kill. You have to worry about them. Food and potions and all that stuff is a necessity. First aid matters now. Like, this is a thing you should actually have. So, it's quite interesting to see uh, how players take on that challenge in a new way, in a better way. So, the grind in this game, as you guys know, World of Warcraft Classic, obviously, uh, didn't have enough content to level you all the way to max level at the end of the game, so there was a huge grind at the end, and even throughout it, the grind is still pretty uh, prevalent. If you guys even just hop on for a little bit now, you guys play, you guys will realize the grind is just insane. You don't ding like you used to in Legion. You don't kill two wolves in the Alliance starting zone, and just instantly, you're level two already. You know, it doesn't work like that. I, you actually have to go through the first, you know, three quests to actually ding to level two in World of Warcraft Classic, which is di different as in it's more grindy, there's more content, there is more to do, and it's also, you know, it's just, it's more rewarding after you hit those levels or hit the max levels or become more powerful or something like that. It's more rewarding since it is more challenging. So that's why you see a lot of these... Uh, players who have been playing World of Warcraft for years and years and years go back to Classic just because of the challenge, the extra challenge that they get to enjoy 
out of this game. They really don't get with Legion anymore, or maybe in Battle for Azeroth they will because of some of the new stuff that they're trying to work out with. But this is, this is something they've been working with forever, as every person who plays World of Warcraft knows. Um, so we got our next step, or our next, you know, I want to say reason, step, whatever. It's number three, and it's actually helped me become a better player at, um, you know, live, the live servers, you know, like the Legion servers. So in my kind of like trip, I want to say, to World of Warcraft Classic, you really have to keep an eye on your health and your mana and all that stuff. Uh, you know, your rage, your threat generation, all that stuff, maybe, you know, not as, like, in Legion, you don't have to look after that stuff, really. I know there's people that argue with me and say, yes, you do, and all that stuff, up until level, like, 80, and even if you're using looking for, for group through that, and you're not doing raids, you really don't need to care about that whatsoever. A tank that is, like, Barely knows what he's doing, and heirloom gear will still make it through the dungeon. In classic, there is absolutely no way. Everybody needs to know what they're doing, what spells to use, you know, how to, like, get out of threat, how to gain threat, all that stuff, because everything is just toned down, and it is so much tougher. But once you make that switch where you go from World of Warcraft Classic back to live, uh, you know, Legion servers right now, you, you're looking at everything, you're calculating, you're thinking, you're going, f you know, faster. It makes you think more. It makes you become a better player at the game in that, like, your reaction time is better. You know what you need to do kind of stuff. Where it's like, if you boosted a character or something like that and went all the way up to, you know, whatever the cap is, 110 now, you're screwed. You know, or 120, you're screwed. Like, you can't, there's not, you know... You don't have any history with that class. You don't know how to use it. Stuff like that. But once you go into classic and you come back, you realize, wow, this really has made me a better player. And uh, lastly is just the complete change in game design, like, completely. Which is what I'm kind of bringing up now, which is, like, no microtransactions. Uh, the, ga the gameplay is very streamlined if you guys have ever played classic. You know what you need to do in classic. You know what the quests are. You know what needs to be done. I admit there are some, you know, gray areas where stuff can get a little bit difficult just because, you know, World of Warcraft was new back then. But, uh, I mean, like I said, gameplay is very streamlined. You know what you're doing. There's none of this, like, uh, we have in Legion. You don't get the max level, and there's no, like, dailies or weeklies that you grind out. You're grinding out dailies. You're grinding out weeklies, just like you are in Legion now. But it's just, you know, you, you guys know how it is in Legion. After you finish those dailies or weeklies, what do you guys do? What do you guys do after you finish all these? I want you to comment down below right now. And I'm going to answer. You guys leave the game or you do stuff that does not matter in the game. Like, I don't know, trying to pick up chicks in, uh, you know, role play servers. But other than that, like, there's nothing else really. You know, after those dailies are done, there's so, only so much you can do. Where, as in Classic, you don't have that. You got to the end of the game and you raided. And <laughs> in order to raid at the end of the game, do you know what you did? You worked and grinded hours to get some items out of dungeons, out of bosses, out of who, who, whatever to raid. And it is such a satisfying feeling at the end of World of Warcraft Classic when you are able to finally get into those raids, and they are tough, and they are hard, but when you overcome them, it makes you feel so good. And you guys have, if you've never played it, I really urge you guys to go do it as soon as possible because I don't want to say it's a life changing experience because I feel like that'd be a bit too much, but it's like playing, you know, Skyrim. Everyone's played Skyrim. You know why? Because it is great. Everybody loves it. Every, like, go find, go find me a negative review of Skyrim that, it, that isn't like a person who would be into MMORPG kind of things, right? Skyrim is a great game. And, you and you know, I know a lot of people that literally just played it because everybody else t talked about how good it is. And everybody else is talking about how good a World of Warcraft Classic is right now. So I highly recommend that every single one of you guys actually go try and play this because, yes, it has made me a better player. I can 100% honestly say that World of Warcraft Classic has made me a better player. And uh, that's really all I have to say uh, 
for this video. If you did like the video, you could always uh, leave a like or comment down below, or maybe even subscribe, you know, that's what you guys are into, subscribing to YouTube channels, that crazy stuff. Also, check out the links in the description. Uh, it is an Amazon link, obviously, so I think most of you guys know what that is. So just to be transparent, if whenever you guys buy something on Amazon, I get like a cut, and it's normally not a very lot, or not a very, you know, lot of money. It's normally like 50 cents, like to a dollar. But it, it kind of adds up, and it helps me uh, sustain my YouTube channel further, uh, meaning I can put out more videos because it, you know, brings in more money. The more money I have coming into the channel, the more money I put it into the channel. So, like, you know, my next purchase actually for the channel, once we get this next check, I'd like to try to stay transparent with some of these things for you guys, is um, buying a new microphone actually with a boom mic and boom setup and everything. So we should be pretty good, and that's really all I have to say. So... Thank you for tuning in, and I will see everybody in the next one.